Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. Online video sharing sites like YouTube have generated a whole new breed of celebrities. Among them, an inventor who's found online stardom posting homemade videos of his blenders pulverizing just about anything you can imagine. He is Blendtec CEO Tom Dixon, and he spoke to Daniel Seberg for CBS Sunday Morning about the success of his Will It Blend videos. All right, Tom, what did you think when somebody came to you with this idea initially of doing this kind of thing and posting it on YouTube? I thought, interesting idea, but I didn't think a whole lot about the whole thing. Did you know anything about YouTube before no, we started? No, never heard of YouTube. What did you think when you first saw it and it's the stuff that's up there? Our marketing person came to me very excited, and he said, you know, we've had six million hits in five days on YouTube. And I said, WhoTube? I never heard of YouTube. <laughs> and it's just been a phenomenal success. This whole viral campaign has just really been surprising and educational for me. What do you think about this works? Why do you think people are so interested in watching you blend all this crazy It's entertainment. Stuff? It's just pure entertainment. From little kids, some of them get upset. I have 25 grandchildren. And, and watching, when I, I, I blended 53 little cars, because I talk about how I, the grandchildren leave the cars out, they step on them, so I'm going to get rid of them. This will be a little lesson. Well, it's disheartening to some of them. From, from the grandchildren, from children, who really get a kick out of this, to older people. I was in a, I was in a garden supply looking for rakes, garden rakes, leaf rakes. I go in and I said... I said um, to the gentleman standing there, I said, where are your leaf rakes? Because it was sort of out of season. And they said, oh, they're over here. And the lady came up and she says, I'm glad you asked. That's what I'm looking for. And I turned and she saw me. She's in her 80s. And she saw me and she says, you're the guy on TV. You're going to blend all the rakes. I'm not going to be able to get a rake. So I found six rakes. And I said, here, take your pick. And she picked one. And I bought the other five and, uh, of course, blended them. Now, this is your set here? Was this here? I mean, you have to construct all of this, obviously. It's just the corner of a room, okay. you know, near our, our video lab. And so we just put it together, just put, put some signage up and some lights, and, and we'd let it, we leave it set up all the time. If we have some inspiration, you know, hey, let's try this today, then we, we go do it. All right, well, we've got lights and camera. Let's go yeah. for action here, okay? Yeah. So we have a drawer, right? You've got some stuff in here. Yeah, here's some stuff. Remote controls. Yeah. I know a lot of wives would like to throw these in the blender. Yes, they would. A lot of blenders, the, the food, it'll, it'll create a bubble, and the food doesn't go down in the, in the jar. And so we have very big blades and big jars. So a lot, of, a lot of people use sticks, people use spoons and all sorts of things to cram the stuff down into the blade. But with a Blendtec blender, you don't need that. You don't need plungers and pushers and all that kind of stuff. You just So we're going to run it up. Stubborn little piece. And what there. setting was that? That was just the plunger, plunger setting. setting. Let's make a real smooth tape measure. Let's push the smoothie setting. 16 foot smoothie. 16 foot smoothie. Oh, tape measure smoke. Don't breathe this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. We can keep going, but. That's great. <laughs> yes, it blends. 